As I stand here on stage, bathed in the warm glow of the spotlight, I feel the weight of the crown gently placed on my head. The sash across my chest reads, Womanless Beauty Pageant Winner, and the audience erupts in applause. I glance over at my aunt, her eyes sparkling with pride and joy. She's the mastermind behind my transformation, having spent the past few weeks turning me, a regular boy, into this vision of pageant perfection. My hair is styled in a voluminous updo, adorned with a delicate tiara that catches the light with every turn of my head. My makeup is flawless, thanks to Auntie's expert hands, with rosy cheeks and eyelashes so long they could practically fan the judges themselves. My gown, a cascading array of pastels, hugs my frame and flares out in layers of tulle and satin, making every movement feel like a dance. The other contestants, all dolled up and radiant, shoot glances my way, some admiring, others envious. I hear snippets of their conversations, compliments mingled with sighs of disbelief. He's been dressed like a girl for weeks, one murmurs, her tone a mix of awe and jealousy. Auntie really knows her stuff, another adds, eyeing the meticulous craftsmanship of my attire. Auntie beams from the audience, her hands clasped together as if in prayer, her smile wide and infectious. She had reassured me throughout this whole process, teaching me how to walk in heels without tripping, how to smile with just the right tilt of the head. You're going to shine, my dear, she had said, and as I look around at the faces in the crowd, I realize I have indeed made her proud. This moment, surreal as it feels, isn't just about winning a pageant. It's about the journey here, the transformation, the confidence gained, and the unspoken bond between an aunt and her nephew. As I walk down the runway one final time, my sash catching the breeze, I carry not just the title of the pageant, but also a deeper understanding of the artistry and affection that brought me here. Winning the womanless beauty pageant opened unexpected doors for me. The exposure from the pageant led to a modeling offer for prom dresses and bathing suits, a direction I had never anticipated my life taking. But with Auntie's encouragement and the newfound confidence I had discovered in myself, I embraced the opportunity with open arms. Auntie was instrumental in my transition into this new role. To keep me in the right mindset for modeling, she suggested that I continue dressing as a girl not only during shoots but also in daily life. It wasn't just about wearing the clothes, it was about embodying the grace and poise needed to showcase them. Auntie would spend hours with me, selecting outfits, coordinating accessories, and teaching me how to carry myself to best accentuate the elegant lines of a prom dress or the playful cut of a swimsuit. At first, I was nervous about maintaining this new persona beyond the pageant stage, but the positive reactions were overwhelming. People didn't just see a boy dressed in women's clothing, they saw a model who brought garments to life. The attention I received was different from anything I had experienced before, it was affirming, uplifting. Fans of the brands I modeled for often reached out with messages of support, admiring the boldness and uniqueness of the campaigns. I found joy in the art of transformation. Each outfit was a new character to step into, each shoot a performance. The world of fashion, with its boundless creativity and constant reinvention, felt like home. Auntie watched proudly as I flourished, knowing that her guidance had led me here. The feminization process, initially just a means to an end for the pageant, became a cherished part of my identity. I reveled in the nuances of fashion and the subtle artistry of makeup. Each morning, choosing an outfit and coordinating makeup wasn't just a routine, it was a joyful expression of the multifaceted person I had become. Through this journey, the bond between Auntie and me grew even stronger. She wasn't just family or a mentor, she was a collaborator in this beautiful act of creation, of crafting a persona that was as much a part of me as any other aspect of my identity. As I continued to model, breaking norms and setting trends, I knew I was exactly where I was meant to be draped in fabrics that told stories, and living a life that was as vibrant and intricate as the dresses I wore.